If you haven't yet, you should check out our new merch store. Link is in the description. Hello friends, Misha here. Welcome to another viewer's dream town tour. Today we are dreaming of the sleepy town called Akari and it is obviously set in cherry blossom season. It is by Tumblr user uh, Mayan Pastel. It is M-E-I-N pastel.tumblr.com if you want to uh, go follow them. All that is below, as well as uh, the dream address is below as well. If you want to visit this town along with me, you can just sit back and watch if you want, or you can uh, load up your game and, and visit along. So, let's see. Akari is a spring town set during the Sakura Blossom Festival and run by Mayor May. May is a hobbyist who loves books, tea, and strives to make Akari the perfect town. She became the mayor in August of 2015, and she's been designing it ever since. Cupcake is a barista who's obsessed with pastels. She even runs her own cafe from the upstairs of her house. She aspires to one day have her own actual cafe, just like Brewster, who is her best friend. How precious. I love, I love, I love a good backstory. Let's see what's, uh, what outfits we got laying around here. I'll pick up a few, few things just to see what's sitting here. Looks like we've got, whoops, got stuff on both sides. And if you guys want to submit your towns to be visited in a video like this, I do these every single Tuesday. And uh, if you want to submit your town, just comment your Dreamtown info below. I just need your town name, your dream address, a brief description of your town, um, any specific rooms or, or houses that you want me to visit, if you have like four fully expanded room or four fully expanded houses uh that might just be too many rooms for me to visit in one video so just let me know what your favorite ones are the ones that you've worked on the most and uh also let me know any social media you would like me to credit as well so just comment that below even if you commented your Dreamtown info before um if i have not visited your town yet go ahead and comment it again so i have it there in my most recent comment section i would absolutely love to get to all of your towns like i said i do these every single tuesday um and I will be doing them for quite some time. I love this little side area. Like, you got the main path right here, which is super, super cute. I've always loved this pink, brick, rosy path. And then you got little little stepping stones with clovers that lead over to just this, this little side area. And we've got the stone tablet up here. I love the combo of the pansies. The pansies and the pink lilies. Oh, and this looks so nice, too. Like, the way that the, the Jacob's Ladders have their own own shape, like make this its own little area. This is precious. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we'll just go south. Go to the south of town. Uh, we got some villagers down here. Oh, let's see what what presents are laid out. That's another reason, um, besides just visiting the town to, you know, explore it and see it yourself, I often don't get to, like, open all of the... Can I not eat this? Oh, no, you can't eat wedding cake. You can eat like the chocolate cake, but you can't eat the uh, the wedding cake. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, I normally don't get to pick up all of the different presents and little little items and goodies spread around town, and sometimes I even miss little little areas. So it's always fun to visit yourself and, and see it for yourself, because you might might see something that I did not. Yeah, loving these flowers, loving all the colors, loving the way that the paths are broken up again with these stepping stones and these clovers to lead you through this area and then back to the wider path and our little villager neighborhood. Let's see, we've got Carissi, Francine, Apple, Gingy, Ruby, Meringue. Or it might be, is it Genji or Gingy? I feel like I've always said Gingy, but... I think I might have been corrected on that before. And then there's Lily and Diana. Aw, some of these villagers are ones I don't see often, and then some of them are just, you know, super cuties that I love so much. Oh, here's uh, the Tulip Topiary down here. Love those pink carnations. Pink carnations and um, white cosmos are such a cute, cute flower combo. Love the peach trees, mix of the peach trees and the cherry blossom trees. Here's the bus stop down here. Let's see what this is. I love visiting your Earl's Dream Towns with sparkling cider. This one I can hold and sip on. 
If you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch, and every single Sunday we play Animal Crossing New Leaf, and I pretty much always visit at least one Dream Town every every stream. We normally start off the Animal Crossing content with a Dream Town tour. Um, so if you guys want to get in on those Animal Crossing streams, you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, it is linked below. And if you want to submit your towns to be visited in one of those streams, you just have to join our uh, Discord. It's the Misha Crossing Discord. There's a little uh, text chat called Dream Addresses where you guys can submit your dream towns there. So if you want it to be visited in a video, you just comment it below. If you want it to be visited in a stream, uh, you can put it in that dream addresses chat on Discord, which like I said, is also uh, linked below and so is Twitch. Okay, enough about that. This campsite area, holy crap, it is cute, cute AF. Look at these two little baby stumps. We got ourselves, I can't help it. I just want to open all these presents for some reason. I'm just, I'm, I'm led to open them all today. <laughs> And I love all the pink, like, it's, on one hand it is very, very pink, but on the other hand it's not too pink. You know what I mean? But it's, like, looking at it, it is a lot of pink, like, objectively. But it's not too much. I guess, like, the mix of the white flowers and all the different clovers and the stumps and the bushes just balance everything out. And I love it so much. Oh, here's the water pump and some perfect peach trees over here by the waterfall. Oh, and there was a, uh, I just saw a wetsuit over there. Alright, let's go up to our first human character's house. Whoop, up this way. Oh, here's a little fairy circle. Don't walk through it, it's bad luck. Don't you do it. Up here, this is May's house. This is the mayor's house. Let's see if she's walking around outside. I do not see her. All right, let's pop on in. Oh, cute. We got the Rococo series customized to that white, pink version. And this is like... Like I was pretty much just saying with the town, it's pink, but but not not too pink. It's mixed with a bunch of, of white and like the wooden floors. Oh, I love the pink bike. That's such a cute touch and the fairy jar. This is so nice. Oh, here's a little spa, little bathroom. Oh, I like the uh, the sea butterfly over here. And the sound of the running water from the merlion. That's so nice. And again, the fairy bottle adding a magical, magical glowy touch to the room. I love the way space is used in this room as well. It's like you got this kind of center section of furniture with like just enough room to walk around on the outside of it. Lots of spaces filled up. Very, very well. I like it. Aesthetic aesthetically pleasing. I love, I love this series. Every time, and by this series, I mean the, uh, oh, is it the, no, it's not the Kiki and Lala. Is it? Maybe. Just this, like, super cutesy, pastel, fluffy, rainbow cloud stuff. I love it. I love it. I'm so into it. Very cute bedroom. Alright, and then over here. I love all the plants in here as well. Love throwing in some plants. Here's the kitchen. I always love kitchens. Kitchens are so nice. I love the dark wood, the dark uh, alpine and classic series. Got some pan some late, late night pancakes for ya. I think it's, yeah, it was nighttime. It was sunset outside. Oh, and I love this rose design on the alpine series as well. Cute. -y. And the little stools in front of the kitchen island. Oh, perfect. I'm excited to see what's upstairs and downstairs. Fully expanded house. I dig it. 
Upstairs is a quiet, dark princess series bedroom. Oh, with Diana's picture. What's her? What's her quotes? Let's see. Oh, she was January 4th, a Capricorn. She's, she was born 12 days before me. Favorite saying is, sometimes you have to lose to win. I like that. I did not know that was her quote. That is good. Good to know. Sometimes you have to you have to fail to learn from those failures, learn from those losses, and uh, what you learn leads to a win later on, leads to success later on. I love it. Diana, coming in with the words of wisdom today. Who to thunk? Oh, I love the basements. I love this floor. This is like one of my favorite favorite floors in the game. This has the Rococo series, but the standard coloring, which I really, really like. Still in the ivy wall and with the bookcases and fireplace. Oh, this house is so nice. It has a big variety of uh, different types of furniture and different types of layouts, different types of rooms. Really, really well done. Good job, Mayor May. Let's go back out into Akari. Explore the rest. We have one more human character's house to visit up here. Oh, look, here's Mayor May. Watch your step by the circle. E Wait, is there like a pitfall seed down here? Did, did Maybe she just meant don't uh, to not walk through the circle. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was maybe a pitfall or something. That would be funny if there was. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. That was so rude of me. Just pushed pushed right past the mare. Alright, we got a few more villagers' houses. Here's Diana. The wise, wise dear Diana. Oh, got some oh, stepping stones leading to the campground up here. I like when sometimes I... It looks nice to just ignore the campground and just design stuff around it, but I also like seeing, uh, like, stepping stone, you know, paths leading to it, and then people actually, you know, incorporating it into their, their town design is nice. Oh, and here's the wishing well up here. Got so many flowers. That wisteria trellis. I love it. We'll go up and see retail in a minute, but first, I think this is Cupcake's house. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at this. She's got the mermaid exteriors. I love it. Uh, and Cupcake said, uh, or the creator said that Cupcake is obsessed with pastels. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Which I can tell from the outside of her house. Let's see if the inside is similar. It is, is the mermaid series for the most part. Got some other nice pastel pink touches as well. She's got a bike, the pink bike too, on the afternoon. Remember when the afternoon tea set was like the most sought after item in the entire world? <laughs> I like the ice cream lamps too and the teddy bears. Oh, and this is the cafe she runs from the upstairs. Oh, I love it. I love it. Speaking of, there's the afternoon tea set again. It's adorable. I love it. And the dessert case, of course. Lots of little coffees, different trays, some teas sitting around. Got an ice cream case back here. And my favorite song, KK Bubblegum. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save you all from my... Even my humming is tone deaf. I know. I get it. I understand. I'm aware. <laughs> I love the heart stump right here, just in the middle of the path. Why not? It's cute. It adds to it. I love it. There's so many nice... Just like that stump and so many other things. So many nice details in this town. Really, really dig it. I feel like that's the third time that I've said dig it in this in this video, but that's okay. <laughs> here's retail. Matches the aesthetic of the town perfectly. Little fire hydrant up here. I love the modern, some modern touches in very natural towns. The contrast is, is always nice. 
There's the statue fountain back there. I like that it's surrounded by the Jacob's Ladders. That's a really nice touch. I like those. And the fairy tale Town Hall. Super cute flag. More flowers and bushes and cherry blossom trees. Here's that classic police station. And the instrument shelter. I'm sure the weather's going to stay nice, as, as it always is in the Animal Crossing world. Oh, here's the windmill. I love all the just all these all these areas. They're all designed so differently. Like this one just has these stepping stones surrounding it in a, in a wide circle. Then with the the roses closer in, a couple of bushes. Yeah, this the 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 water fountains just in the middle of a bunch of flowers with a little clover path in front. Yeah, just the, 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 there's just so much variety in the way the different areas are designed. I like it a lot. I like these flower beds too. Super cute designs. Oh, here's a tumbler sign. There you go. It's linked below, but there it is on the screen as well. <laughs> oh, and we're back. We're back to the start, except we have not gone down here. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I like this area a bunch. Oh, the flower archways. Oh, they're so nice. And here's the cafe down here. I love, 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 love what a good area the cafe has. Great stuff leading up to it. Yeah, sounds beautiful. Thank you so much for submitting it. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, leave the creator some love in the comments below. Let them know if you visited their town. Um, and regardless what you liked about their town since, since you just watched this video, I'm sure you have some thoughts on oh, Super cute. Super cute. So pretty. And uh, feel free to submit your town if you want me to visit it in a video like this. Comment all that info below. Alright, I will be back next Tuesday with another one of these videos. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.